I am beginning with a 16 ounce travel mug from the Steel Magnolia Company. I have sanded the tumbler and I spray painted it with a gloss coral color from Krylon. And I'm going to mix some glow powder into my very first base coat of epoxy. This glow powder is called White Glow Powder and it is from Glitter Heart Co. Inside that mixture, I am also going to add some orange glitter. So I'm using um, Orange Crush from Glitter Dipped Sips. And that's what I'm gonna use for my very first base coat. On top of the base coat, I'm gonna sprinkle some more glow glitter from um, the Glitter Guy, and it is called Winifred. To apply this epoxy mixture, I am just holding the tumbler in my hand and applying it as you would the hang method, um, except my coats of epoxy application are not light. They're not thin like you would use for the hang method. I want this to be a fairly generous application of epoxy. Because I have mixed the glitter in with it, I want to make sure that glitter settles down um, to the base of that epoxy as it's spinning so that I don't have to sand um, as well as little as possible. Because if you put a really light coating, you'll feel the texture of the glitter um, after it's dry. So I want to make sure that that first coat of epoxy is as smooth as possible. Now that my epoxy application is done, I am just sprinkling it with some glitter, chunky glitter mixture from the Glitter Guy. This glitter has bits of glow, so that orange glows. Um, I think the orange chunky is the only glitter that glows, but it looks really cool under a UV lamp because you can see the glow from the base. Um, from the white powder I put in the epoxy, and then you see little speckles of glow from the glitter, so it looks really cool. I am going to be spray painting this using the power wash, the Dawn power wash method, and because I added those chunky glitters over the top, I did need one more coat of epoxy. So, so far this tumbler has two coats of epoxy. Now I'm gonna spray it with the foaming Dawn dish soap. You can find this dish soap anywhere. I got mine from Costco. I got a whole bunch of containers of it. I'm gonna spray paint black, and I also spray painted the purple, um, but I did not record as typical Holly. <laughs> so um, this cup is going to have actually a black and a purple on it. So I'm doing the black first and then I let that dry. And then I am going to be using a, a marbling. This is Montana paint and it's a black marbling effect and it actually looks like spider webs. So I'm spraying that over the top of the tumbler and then I will go ahead and go back over it with the purple spray paint. Before adding the purple, I did remove some of the um, black on the top and the bottom rim of the tumbler. It was just too much. And then I resprayed the black so that to get rid of those sharp lines. Then I added the purple. So this is after the black and the purple application. And now I'm going to give it one more coat of epoxy again with glow powder. I created this um, little, it's kind of like a Starbucks circle, but instead of the Starbucks, it has a witch in the center. The witch is a free image off of Cricut that you can find. I made this last year, and then I just built a bunch of circles on top of each other, white and black circles, and then I um, sliced the circles, and then I curved some words. So on the top, so last year what I did is, you can't scare me, I'm a teacher, um, but uh, this time I'm making this for my sister and she's a nurse, so I changed it to you can't scare me, I'm a nurse. And then you just curve the top words and the bottom words, fit those inside that circle and then slice again, and then cut it out on your Cricut or Silhouette or whatever you have. So I'm going to put that, she's right-handed, so I'm going to put that on the front if it's facing people that are looking at her when she's drinking her coffee or tea, whatever she's drinking. So I'm going to put that up above, and then I'm doing like... Um, is it called a heart rhythm line? You know, the heartbeat line for doctors and nurses. So I'm gonna put that line all wrapped around the bottom portion of the tumbler. So all these images I found in Cricut. So first I did a search for the heartbeat. And so I just um, duplicated the heartbeat a few times, made it black. Um, this is just two of them, but in the end, I actually have three little zigzaggies. And then I did a search for a jack-o'-lantern. 
I made that black as well. And then you wanna go to the contour and get rid of anything that you don't. Um, I wanted a solid shape, but I wanted the eyes and the nose and the mouth not to be there. And so I contoured everything to make it solid and then I got rid of the eyes, nose, and mouth. And I'm gonna center that right on the heartbeat line. And then I did a search for black cat, got rid of that little angle on the end of the broom and then linked it to the heartbeat, did a search for the bats. And then I searched for um, spiders or spider web and then witch. And I just aligned everything to the size that I wanted as it's gonna wrap around the tumbler. I, I think my tumbler was eight and a half inches. <clears throat> and so I made sure that my heartbeat line wasn't longer than eight and a half inches. And I do have a handle on the tumbler. So I had to compensate for that too. And then everything that is solid black. So the witch, the broom, the heartbeats, um, you want to make sure you weld those together. Um, and then the jack-o'-lantern, you don't want to weld because it has the eyes. If you weld it, the eyes and the nose and the mouth will all turn black and it'll be a solid shape. So I just welded the heartbeat with the um, cat so that I could keep that just a solid shape. And then I just pieced the jack-o'-lantern in um, and the spider web separately. So... I wanted to to add something I wanted to add something different but I didn't want it to be to stand out too much. So I decided to do some dark um orange and purple floral water slides. So since this is a clear water slide, you're going to be able to see the background of the tumbler through it. So the glow will still um, be there when you put the water slide on. If I were to cut these flowers on a white water slide or white sticker paper, then they would be really bold and then you wouldn't see the glow through the florals, which I guess you could do. That would look pretty also. Um, but that's just not what I had in mind. And I was kind of stuck on this design and I couldn't really get past it. So I had to just, <laughs> I had to just keep going with it through completion. Otherwise I wouldn't have been satisfied. So I went ahead and cut out some clear water slide florals and I placed those all around the bottom of the tumbler, um, that bottom third portion of the tumbler there. And then the heartbeat line is going to sit right over the top of that. Here I'm just checking out the glow after applying the floral water slides and it still looks super cool. So here's the image that I welded together, the cat with the heartbeat line, and I'm applying the jack-o'-lantern piece first uh, straight across from where that handle sits on the opposite side of the cup. And then I'm gonna apply the right side of the heartbeat and the left side and apply the spider web last. Because I didn't put a coat of epoxy on after I applied the water slides, my jack-o'-lantern overlapped the water slides and it kind of buckled a little bit. So I just took my craft knife, slid it, and then laid it down as smooth as possible. It still has a little buckling, um, but that's okay. My sister will still love it. She is very supportive and gentle with my feelings. So I know that it'll be okay if I have a little mistake in there. And it is ready to seal with Krylon um, clear coat and then epoxy one more time. This time with the epoxy, I'm just gonna put just a dash of twinkle from the Glitter Guy in there. This twinkle um, additive from Glitter Guy goes a long way, so you really just need a sprinkle. And I'm applying it to my tumbler the same way I did at the very beginning of the video, and it's just easier for me with the handle to do it this way. After that epoxy set, I did notice that I forgot the bats, so I had to add the bats and do another layer of epoxy. <laughs> this was my first time using that white glow powder, and I think it turned out really darn cool. I hope that I was able to show you something maybe you haven't tried before, and um, if you like the content that I am showing you on my channel, please hit that subscribe button, ring the bell for notifications. I try to load videos two times a week. Thank you so much for watching.